Hey guys, so today I'm doing a summer bronzy look. I still don't know what I'm going to call it, but somewhere along the lines of summer. So stay tuned if you want to see the summer bronzy tutorial. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu facial spray to prime my face. Then I'm going to go in with the Hangover X and apply that all over my problematic areas. Usually where I will want my foundation to stick the most. I'm going to go in with my foundation. Today I'm using the Lancome foundation. This foundation I truly love. It is not heavyweight at all and it's super full coverage. I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and blend all of that out. Then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Honestly, this concealer is the bomb.com. It is a little bit expensive, but it is worth the money. Then again, going in with my sponge, I'm going to blend all of that out. Make sure to blend. Again, blending is very important when you're doing your makeup. You don't want any streaky lines or anything like that. Then going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm going to set my concealer. Going in with my favorite bronzer of all time, I'm going to bronze my face a little bit. Remember this is a summer look so you do need to look a little bronzed up like if you've gone to the beach or something. And this bronzer is honestly truly the best. Here I'm just redefining my contour line with a smaller face brush and the same hula bronzer. Then I'm going to go in with my Tarte blush. Honestly, if you guys have not tried these blushes, they're honestly the best. A little bit goes a very long way. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350 palette. I don't know the names of the colors, that's why I'm pointing it out with my finger. So I will be applying that color all over my crease as a transition color. Then going in with my Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to be using the color Burnt Orange. And I'm going to apply that right below the crease that we just did. Picking up that orange color from the 350 palette, I'm going to apply it all over the color burnt orange and blend it all out. Picking up that brown shade from the 350 palette, I'm going to apply it in a triangle shape in the outer corners of my eyes. with the Stila liquid liner to create a small line to apply my lashes. Then I'm going to go in with my Coco lashes in the style Demi G. Going back into the modern renaissance, I'm going to be picking up the color burnt orange and applying it all over my lower lash line.
Then picking up Cypress Umber from the same palette, I'm gonna be applying that color above the color that we just put on the lower lash line. And my favorite part has come. So going in with the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm gonna be using the color Moonstone and I'm gonna be applying that with the Max Fix Plus to intensify the color a little bit more. Also, when you're applying highlight, I suggest that you put it on your cheeks, that way you don't have to be turning your face all the time to show it off. Then going in with lipstick, I'm applying ColourPop in the shade Trap. And if you guys are not a fan of light colors, here you go. And here you have the color pop and the shade Chili Chili. Alright guys, so that is the final look. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.